this is Screaming Squirrel, and just a very quick announcement before we start the video. Um, a few days ago, it was my birthday. Hooray! So I'm 14 now, and this was a birthday gift that I used my birthday money on. So I hope you guys enjoy that. And we have not found a 20 subscribers special game. So I've already picked out a game since you guys aren't really responding much in the comments. And... We are sorry for the lack of updates for our channel. We are sorry because we are, we are in the middle of a project right now and it's due in a few days. So I just might as well make a video during, like, since I'm halfway done with the project. So we would really like at least like two or three likes if we want to continue this series. And I hope you guys enjoy. Hey guys, this is Screaming Squirrel here. We have a LEGO Dimensions Story Pack Unboxing. This is a fantastic piece and where to find them one. Hooray! I'm so happy because I'm a wizarding um, world person and I really want to get most of the wizarding stuff because I feel like I'm a wizard. <laughs> so, we do not have the actual game console for this. We do not have the game. We do not have the pad thing right here. We don't have anything except for the Legos because, well, who doesn't like building Legos, huh? <laughs> so I bought this with my own birthday money one night and the only things I could build was Newt and the Niffler. And the day after I built the Makuza, so I've already built everything. So on here shows a little bit of the Makuza building. There's a Niffler right here and Newt's standing right there. You'll see them on a little bit. And um, Another thing is, is that the Niffler can change into three different animals, and I'll show you that in a minute after I'm done showing you the other two things. So, I will be showing you the Makusa building first. So, if it's a little dark and stuff, I can't really fix that much. So, this is the elevator parts. There's two of them. And what I think is neat is that you can take... Here, let me show you a bit. There is a lever behind here that you will build. And you can lift it, and there goes the elevator. And you can also stay there as well. So, like, if I take Newt, I can put him up there, and he can have a fun time looking over his friends. <laughs> so, I think that's a really cool mechanism. It, it works for both sides, too. So, I think that's neat. And then the doors can also open and shut. I really like the wings on the doors and the Makuza coin right there. So that was the Makuza building. Let's slide that out of the way. And then I'll be showing you Newt Scamander. So first of all, this is his toy tag. It has a little N and S symbol for his name, Newt and Scamander. I like the colors on here as well. So if we get him back on here, I really like his hair. It looks really neat. It's sadly it's not a new mold. I think they've used it in the Lego um in the Lego World movie where Emmett like took a shower and his hair's all messy and it looks like this. I think that's what they used it for. So um he has two faces. He has a happy face and he has an angry face. And this is accessory is a wand. And I really like his torso. It looks neat. So I'll put him out of the way. And then the first one is the Niffler. I think he's really neat. Because um, he is a little mischief maker in the movies. <laughs> and um, he has little gold in his pouch right there. I don't know if you can see that much. But it's a little, there's a white, a very light spot right there. So, um, you can put, like, gold in there, and I think that's really neat. Um, his arms can move. I don't want to move them because they've broken a few times already. And he has a very smooth back. His toy tag is where he's actually sitting on coins and some gold bars. And then this is his toy tag. I don't, it doesn't really show much. There's no, like, imprints or anything. So... That was the Niffler. Now, I'll be right back to show you the Scorp- Okay, and I am back with the Sinister Scorpion. 
And this one took a while to build because I had to take apart all of the Niffler. So um, the toy tag didn't really change except for taking off the gold coins because he's not a gold seeker or anything. He has his little feet and then the pinching claws right here. You don't really move that much but you can move them that way. And you can move these up and down but I don't want to move much because they like to break off easy. And this is his tail. This can move up and down, but it's supposed to stay up here to make it look like a scorpion. So um, there's not really a face or anything. You can't really see much, but um, I think it's a really neat one. In the game, Newt can ride him and shoot venom out of this, I think. It's crazy. But um, it's sad because, well, Newt can't sit on it, so. Well. I'll be back with the Vicious Vulture. Okay, and I am back with the Vicious Vulture. Now, um, his head can move pretty much up and down. He can't, his head can't move sideways. His wings can move up and down as well. I feel very confident on moving these ones because they're connected with the feet. And they're not connected by the little holes right here because, um, well, if they're connected right there, I think that's really annoying because they can come off really easily and that's why I didn't really move the scorpion claws and the niffler hands. So, I I like this one because you can move it around a lot more. And you can also make Newt sit on him. If I can get him for a second. Okay, so there's like two little bars here and you can make him sit on it even though it looks like he's sitting on like too much far over here um, you can still make him fly on it even though it's not really an official seat spot but I just like to put him there for fun so wee oh, he looks so cute flying it flying it I said that weird okay um, so the toy tag is not different at all, just the coins are still gone and the gold bars are still there because he's not a gold seeker of course. And the toy tag is still the same and everything, so I think that's just weird. <laughs> okay, so um, so yeah, this is the Vicious Vulture. So this is the Fantastic Beasts story pack for LEGO Dimensions. So I think it's a really neat one. Yes, there will come with it some extra bits right here. It even comes with an extra wand if you lose his. So I think that's really neat too. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. You just look majestic, mister. Yes, you do. You look even better. So if you guys want to see more of these LEGO videos, I have a lot more wizarding ones if you want to see some more. Go ahead and give us about three to two likes. We would love you to subscribe to see a lot more of these magical videos. Ooh. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed this video, even though it took forever to make. But I'm just excited that I got these amazing characters that came with them.